Hello YouTube, it's Gav, and I have been meaning to make this video for a very, very long time since I came back from Germany. Um, this is going to be of great interest to any of my subscribers who are Mass Effect fans. I know a lot of you are, um, because a lot of people found my channel because of my Commander Shepard song. Uh, and a few people were saying it to me in the comments in some of my videos last night, kind of like, don't forget about your Mass Effect fans, and... Um, I'm not guys and this video is for you guys um, because it will be of interest to you because not many of you know this but I have played Mass Effect 3. I got to play it in Germany. Um, for those of you that don't know the story behind this, basically uh, Bioware, uh, the company who makes Mass Effect, uh, they are big fans of a couple of my songs, in particular that song, the Commander Shepard one, which is about Mass Effect obviously. And they are also fans of my Age of the Dragon song, which is about their other uh, game uh, called Dragon Age. Um, so basically, they were such big fans, in particular one guy, uh, David Silverman, who is like just this awesome, awesome dude. He's like the... he is the director of marketing at Bioware. I think that's his official title anyway. Um, but he's just this awesome guy, this really cool, easygoing, just big kind of um, big gamer you know big fan and he loved a couple of my songs and the Bioware guys basically invited me to come to Germany to Gamescom to um, to do interview with them uh, because they had been using a couple of my songs to promote well not to promote the games but they had been playing them at the conventions while they showed the games and stuff uh, Age of the Dragon and Commander Shepard, those two songs, Bioware had been playing those at like Comic-Con and just different conventions and stuff, which is amazing. It's awesome, you know. And uh, So they brought me to Germany. I, I, went, I got on a plane, hopped over to Germany with the girlfriend and we went and found Bioware at their booth and I did some interviews with them. It went out live on Bioware TV and um, it was awesome, you know. They're really nice people in Bioware. They're really really cool you know they're they're surprisingly easy going because gamescom was um that it was mental it was so crazy there were s queues of hundreds and hundreds of people to play the games that was just such hype about all the games uh and it just it was crazy there and and they, the bioware guys were just sitting there looking pretty relaxed you know despite the pandemonium and chaos going on all around them so yeah, after the interviews and stuff and our little chats, uh, I got a chance to play a little bit of Mass Effect 3. And the good news is it's it's really awesome. You know, I, um, I made a little kind of list of notes and I posted them on The Escapist a while back. Some of you may have read that, but I will go through them for you and just let you know <clears throat> my thoughts on Mass Effect 3. And what you're watching here, by the way, is uh, a level from Lair of the Shatter Broker. Um, and you're going to see my shepherd in a minute, because I, I kind of realize my shepherd is like, I suppose he's kind of famous, but no one's ever seen him. You've only seen Mandalore's shepherd, who is different to mine. And Mandalore's channel is gone, which really sucks, man. I don't know what happened. So the, the other Commander Shepard video is gone. Um, so yeah, I emailed him and I'm waiting for a response, so I don't I don't know, man. I, I'm going to have to make a new video for Commander Shepard. Anyway, guys, I know you're all here because you want to hear about Mass Effect 3. So basically, uh, the first thing I noticed about it is there's a big uh, visual upgrade. Uh, Shepard looks really good. His armor is very detailed. His facial animations are, m are, are much improved. Everything just looks smoother graphically. Uh, we got to see, I'm not going to spoil anything because I didn't really see any spoilers. All I saw was stuff that you would have already seen in the trailers. But the uh, the Reaper invasion, sorry, just going to take a drink. The Reaper invasion is amazing. It's some real War of the Worlds level epic scale stuff, you know. It's just really, really cool. The Vistas are, are as usual, amazing. I mean, the Vistas are great in all Mass Effect games, you know. Uh, the combat... It feels quite different uh, to Mass Effect 2. It's a lot faster. 
it's a lot more brutal and visceral. Um, one thing I noticed is that the aim sensitivity is much higher. Um, and I'm quite happy about that, actually, because the three sensitivities in Mass Effect were all pretty low, or in Mass Effect 2, I thought, were all pretty low. I would have liked to have been able to kind of spin around a bit faster and stuff. So, yeah, the aim sensitivity is much higher in Mass Effect 3. Guns feel really, really, really punchy. Um, Shepard can kind of roll around now. You know the way like the Gears of War can, and he can roll into cover and kind of climb around on ladders and things. Uh, his controls are very, very responsive. They, they've all kind of the controls have had a complete overhaul. The cover works better now. Um, it just feels a lot more fluid. And as I said in those notes, it feels like a mix between Gears of War and ME2. And I know a lot of you are going to be wondering: is the RPG stuff better than it was in Mass Effect 2? Now, it's a strange one to me because I liked the way the skills were in Mass Effect 2 more than I did in Mass Effect 1. Because I thought Mass Effect 2 was just a better shooter than Mass Effect 1. I mean, Mass Effect 1 had a lot of stats and stuff, but it just didn't really do much for the shooting. I, I just didn't think it was a great shooter. Anyway, uh, I didn't get to see much of that. I stupidly forgot to pause the game and look at the menus. So I'm sorry, guys. I didn't, I didn't get to see any of the upgrades or stuff like that. I, I was playing as a soldier. So the only um, powers I got to use were just kind of guns and stuff. I had Liara and Garrus with me. Um, Liara had Singularity and Garrus had Concussive Blast. Uh, Morden and Rex also made appearances, but of course they won't if uh, certain things happened in the end of your Mass Effect 2 game. Um, overall, the combat... Um, the the enemies they're a lot smarter, but they, they kind of flank you and stuff. They don't just sit there and play kind of whack a mole. Um, it, it feels a lot more difficult than Mass Effect Two, actually, a lot tougher. Which um, you know will probably be a good thing because you know we all we all like a challenge. And I'm sure there'll be a casual mode there for the people who just want to kind of play through for the story and aren't up for a big kind of challenge. Um, and yeah, overall, guys, I think that Mass Effect 3 is its going to be one of the best games of this generation. It really is. I said this about Mass Effect 2 before it came out, and I think I was proven right because the game was phenomenal, in my opinion. And uh, I, I think Mass Effect 3 is, you know, it's its going to be up there with games like Skyrim and, you know, well, for me, Fallout 3 is another one. And just these games that define this current generation you know when we look back in years to come there's going to be games that are always fondly remembered and i think mass effect 3 is looking like it's going to be one of those so um i don't want to get get all your hopes up too much but my hopes are up because <laughs> it just looks awesome it plays awesome it feels awesome obviously this was a couple of months ago so all of everything in everything i played is subject to change so anyway i'm going to link david silverman's uh twitter link uh in the description and you got, you guys should go follow him because he's a really awesome dude he he kind of responds to fans and bioware are so good at that stuff you know they communicate with their fans so much and so well and they have a great community over on their forums and i've talked to some of the people over there a few times and you know um go follow david silverman i will put his twitter link uh in the description below and yep, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Mass Effect 3 for the moment, guys. I am, I'm, I, like I said, Mandalore's video is gone for Commander Shepard. I don't know what happened. It was probably something to do with copyrights on his channel, because that's usually what happens when people's videos get taken down. But uh, I have emailed him to see what's up, and I'm going to be making my own video for Commander Shepard now, because, you know, it's nice to have one up, and... I have a few cool ideas for it, and it'll be nice to get a HD one now that I have my PVR. So, um, uh, you're seeing my female shepherd now, by the way. Um, so, yeah, there you go. You've seen both my shepherds now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little talk, guys. Uh, leave your thoughts about Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 2, whatever you want in the comments, and I will reply to you guys. See you later.